Right then, I thought I would do a quick tutorial video on how I paint these 6mm Russians, uh, Crimean War Russians, by irregular miniatures. I haven't done one of these for a long time, so um, yeah, it, it's, uh, the technique has kind of changed a bit over the years. It's, and it's, it's quite fast and furious now, and um, I can knock out a base of these in very little time. That's what I'm aiming for. 72 figures to a base I use now, of Russians. Two battalions. Um, they do two coats, one in helmets and one in the flat caps. Anyway, just to quickly run through what I do here, you can see I'm using two brushes, an old regiment brush and the psycho brush. Um, I'll have a series of photos on the blog when I, when I do this, but phase one is really quickly to dry brush with flat earth. You can see the colors there that I'm using. Flat earth, Japanese uniform, white scarlet and gray for part one at least so it's a, a a careful dry brush of um flat earth try to leave some of the black showing so you want to you know you, it's quite controlled next i mix in about 50 percent plus of the japanese uniform dry brush it again trying to pick out the highlights so being again very light handed with the brush try to pick out the highlights um, at that point, I take up the Psycho and carefully paint in the white straps. I mean, it, it, you can be fairly accurate with that, but if you make mistakes, it's correctable. So that's that. Um, next is to take up the Scarlet and try and get some red lines around the front of the caps. I don't know, you know. Um, it, it, it's fairly easy. But if you make mistakes, then a little touch of the dark grey um, on the on the tops of the caps will will sort of thin the red line where it goes too far. Um, and that's about it for part one. They all did look quite good. The next is going to be to put in the brown with the muskets, the flesh colour. Um, really very fast. Um, really very fast to paint. I'll just pull back, and you can see the colours. It's five colours. Um, that is my battered old regimental dry brush uh, I use that for so many things blocking in basic dry brush colors on, on bigger figures too um, and just go back just to show what we should eventually end up with um, I'm aiming for 10 of these bases a side per side um, as phase one of this project um, so that's you know 10 bases of 72 figures Russian and uh, same for the um, Anglo-French. Um, they're coming along really well. But uh, part two, I'll try and just, just finish them off and just have a quick chat about timings on these. Okay, better stop there. It's three minutes.